Yeah. What's going on guys, Adam R. ADH Amory, I'm back here with another video. As you can tell, today I'm going to be doing a quick story time. It's not going to be that long because I know sometimes it can get a little bit boring. But again, if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe right now. Turn on that notification bell because every single day, no matter what day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever day it is, I post at 8 o'clock on the Pacific time. Okay, wherever I'm at at 8 o'clock, that's the time that I'm going to post. So make sure not to miss any videos because these videos are coming out like faster than, I don't know, an automatic machine gun. So please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Please comment down below if you guys love this video, if you guys liked my last video, if you guys liked any other video. Please let me know. I love feedback. Please and smash that like button. Smash, smash, smash. Right now, right now. Go, go, go. Alright, cool. So, let's get straight into it. Um... But before we do, actually, I just want to say that in no way, shape, or form, I'm trying to tell people to go to college or to not go to college. I'm just trying to, I'm just telling you what my point of view is and why I see it that way and why I did what I did, okay? And I'm just pretty much just trying to do what's happy. I mean, whatever makes me happy, and I hope you do whatever makes you happy, all right? So let's go ahead and get right into the story, okay? Alright, so pretty much as any, you know, high school student, you're pretty much forced to, well not forced, but you know, people, all your teachers, all your counselors are all like, oh, what what um, college are you going to? What college um, did you apply to? What colleges are you going to apply to? And they go through this little thing um, during school where it's like, okay, it's college um, application day or application week or whatever, or month or something. And, you know, they take you into the counseling offices or wherever they take you, career centers, and they make you apply, right? So pretty much you're wired naturally to go ahead and apply for a college because it's all around you, so it's only the nat most natural thing to do. But sometimes you don't want to. Like, sometimes you, someone feels like, I don't feel like college is right for me. I don't like school. Even though I'm good at it, I don't like school. And that's honestly how I felt. Like, I graduated with 3.78, I believe, GPA. And it's not amazing, but, you know, it's not bad. So... I was, you know, expected to go to college, especially from my parents and, um, you know, from people around me. I was expected to go to college and, you know, I mean, I understand. But personally, I didn't want to go to college. But either way, I still applied to um, some UCs and then some Cal States also. Now, did I get accepted to some? Yes. I got accepted to two UCs that I didn't want to go to. So, I don't know why I applied to them, but I really didn't want to go to them. So, I didn't go because they were way too far. And I didn't want to go there. And the main reason I did want to go to a UC or specific UCs were because I like playing soccer. So, that I wanted to play college soccer. But none of them accepted me, the ones that I wanted to go to them, the ones that had good soccer teams. So, I didn't accept any. And I actually didn't apply to Cal States. I lied to you guys, sorry. Um, so I ended up going to a community college. I went to Mount Sac for like a week and then I dropped out. So this is what happened. So before school even started, um, they were having soccer trials, you know, soccer trials for the team and you know, they were going on for like a month before that. And you know, that's what I really wanted. They had a really good, or they have, I don't know, but they had a really good soccer team. So that's what made me interested in them. I was planning to do, to go two years there obviously and then you know, going to like UCLA or something, you know, someone with a really good soccer team. So as we were trying out, whatever, cool, a month passed by, two months passed by, I made it onto the team. What I didn't realize was that I had to be a full-time student to play soccer. So I was like, okay, cool. So I was trying to get all my classes, you know, together and everything, but I ended up with only one class. So it didn't really, you know, benefit me and it, it was it's 40 minutes away from where I live so it was kind of like you know difficult but I said you know what first semester I just won't play soccer and then I'll go either way I decided not to play soccer with college I decided to play academy soccer for another year but so that wasn't the problem now it was just I was going to college right so I was going to college for you know a week for one class it was math class math class um and I'm good at math, but I didn't like it. I was really only going because, you know, my parents wanted me to go, but 
personally, I didn't want to go because I didn't like it. And a week passed by, you know, we were having homework, whatever, work, and I was like, okay, whatever, I'm still used to this, it was, it was from high school. And then the next week, on Monday, I think it was, I got a test. I got a test, I did the test, and I, I know damn well I did so bad at it. Not because I didn't study or anything, no, fuck, actually, it's, it, it is because I didn't study. It's because I didn't study that I did so bad in it, and I just didn't want to study, I didn't want to have anything to do with school, I didn't want to have anything to do with, you know, pointless stuff like that, especially with what I wanted to do. At that time, well, I still do. Um, at that time, I wanted to open up my own business, and I still do, but I realized that you don't need that to, you know, you don't need college to open up your own business. You need, you know, resources, you need to have experience. Yes, college helps sometimes, but most of the time you don't need it. Like, 99% of the time you don't need it. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm commuting 40, um, 40 minutes every day, or every other day, because it was Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um... To, to go to one class and I don't even like it. So, and I have to pay for it too because I didn't get any financial aid, which sucks. So that day that I took the test, I came back home and I sat down with my mom at the kitchen table and I was like, you know what, mom? I can't do this, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna go to college. I don't like it, I do not wanna spend money on it, I don't wanna spend my time on it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was already working, so I knew I, knew I was gonna be working, but I don't know. I didn't know what I wanted to do at that time still, but I knew it wasn't college. It wasn't college related at all. I just knew I wanted to start my own business, but I don't need college for that. So I told my mom and then she, you know, she was like, oh, I mean, I kind of knew this was going to happen because you were always talking about like you not liking college and stuff like that or school. I was like, yeah, I know, but I wanted to try it out, but I knew I wasn't going to like it and I knew I was going to drop out. And she was like, well, there's nothing I can do, you know, just go work and then try to find whatever you you know, you want to do. I was like, okay, cool. So, yeah, that was pretty much when I dropped out. And then after that, I pretty much started um, work, kept on working. Then I got a really good job. Actually, this is going to be another story time. But I got a pretty good job um, career-wise. And then it was taking way too much time from me at a very young age. I was at nine, I was 19 years old at that time. I'm 20 now, but, you know, 19 years old for a career for people that have families and stuff like that. Yeah, I was getting, you know, pretty good money, but I didn't want to stay there, build a life there because that's not what I wanted to do. And it was giving me no time to do anything else that I wanted to do, you know, what I actually wanted to do. So I left and I went back to my old job and that's where I'm at right now. And honestly, I like it. I hate my job, but I like it because it gives me the time to actually, you know, do YouTube, which is what I really want to do. And then um, now progress into making my own, you know, gym, which is what I ultimately want to do. But I'm still going to be doing YouTube. Like, it's just, I think it's, it goes hand in hand. And yeah, so now I get to do YouTube and I like it. Now, the reason I dropped out was pretty much I just didn't like it, honestly. If you like it, you know, go ahead and go to college. And, it's, you know, for some things, you do need to go to college. Like, if you're a doctor and you're performing surgery on me or perform, perform, ugh, performing surgery on my kid, please have a doctorate degree. I, please go to college because, you know, you need to learn about that. But for most things, you know, you don't really need college. But if it does give you an education and some, you know, sort of peace of mind of knowing that, you know, you have a degree and it, it can get you a job anywhere, or pretty much anywhere you know it really helps so if that's what you guys want to do then go ahead and do that I'm not gonna stop you that's if that's what literally honestly makes you happy do that because this is what's making me happy right now like I'm I've never been happier in my life like right now I have not slept in 28 no actually I don't even know what time it is 7 4 5 6 7 so 3 plus 24 24, 25, 26, 27, I should've stayed in college. So I've been up for 27 hours, but I'm so happy. Like, I'm not sad, I'm not mad about it because this is what I chose, but I'm happy. And that's what I want you to understand. Like, you guys need to be just happy with what you're doing and you'll be fine. You won't work another day of your life. You just be happy. 
Anyways, I'm getting a little bit off track, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how, that's the time that I dropped out of college and, you know, you do what you do. You do what you want to do and I hope you guys can fight through all the negativity that comes around you, alright? That should be the end of this video. Sorry if I went on a little bit longer than you thought, but I just had to get this whole um, you know, story out. Again, if you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe right now. Hit that notification bell. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. What, what time? What time? 8 p.m. That's the time that I post every single day from now on. Don't you guys miss a video because they're all going to be amazing. Maybe one or two will be pretty bad. But, you know, in general, they'll all be good. And, oh, look, what's over there? Oh, the end of this video. <laughs> Peace out. Grandma told me that she said it was evil I care about going I tell you believe I wait out with the tone when I give you the seed I make you up on when I seem to be I'm a young and just killer I kick up game I left home, never looked back